parts from here. Uh, another uh, dart video. <clears throat> We're working on multiple cars. I haven't done a truck video yet. Or a... Uh, what else have I gonna MR2 video yet. Um, but I had a couple questions in regard to the Slant 6. We did the bolt removal thing, how to get the bolts out of the intake manifold and all that. Um, sticky valves and bent push rods and whatnot. I'm still, still, uh, this is going back together after I cleaned all the ports and everything out of all the get gobbly gig. But I've had several people ask me how you get these little doodads on the bottom holes of the, uh, of the intake. So I'm going to show you how to do the hardest one. If you can do this one, then you can do all the rest of them. So basically you just take a little magnet, pencil, pencil magnet. Let's see if we can, uh, can see it. You can't even see it. Great. Oh, there it is. There it is. See it? Let's see if I can do it by looking through the camera. It moved. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Okay, well, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming, baby. All right. All right. Let's let's do the camera. Stupid chokes in the way. Oh, burn it. Oh, we seriously, dude. You can't even. Can you see? It? Is that the stud? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, man. There you go. There's better. Because all the camera's in the west, I can't see where I'm going with it. Okay. Um, yeah, now I can't even see it. Right, let's see if we can do it. I dropped it again. All right. All right. It's a lot easier to do when you're not trying to film it, believe me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, this might be a fail. Um, pretty much all my videos are fails, no? Shoot, I can't see it. That's number three. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, I can let go of the camera. Okay. Now where'd the little doodad go? All right, let's find another little. No, that's the that's the last doodad. Great. Now I lost the doodad. <laughs> you know, that's all part of the quality, I suppose. I don't think I. <clears throat> I don't think. Great. I don't think I could do a quality video if my life depended on it. You know that? So, there it is. Alright, there it is. Alright. So now i got two hands so I can stabilize myself and sneak in here with that little booger. Dropped it again. Dropped it again. See, this is the trickiest one. All the rest of them are cake. But this is the hardest one. It's not my magnet of choice. But, um, the only one I got. <laughs> Alright, well, make it louder, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Quality matter. Quality matter. Alright. Yeah, because the camera's in the way, and I can't really see to get it in there to feed it into the spot. And every time it, it bumps and turns it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Oh, now it hit the ground. Awesome. Awesome. Max is standing here looking. He's thinking I'm nuts. Oh. It'll be a 20 minute video on how to put one of these on. Yeah, sure, Pooch, man. It's real easy. What well, is when you're not trying to film it? You know what I mean? I can't see nothing. I'm doing it basically blind. I'm doing it blind. Okay, well, maybe I'll use the camera. See, it wants to see it wants to turn it. This magnet is just not very strong. That's the problem. So you can't go in through this way because it won't fit. The other ones you can go from the top. But um, let me see if I can let's see if I can get it upside down. Nah. <laughs> All right, well, this may be a fail. You mean nobody might ever see this. Oh, there we go. There it goes. If I could edit it and make it real look easy. There you go. So the things, the 
gizmos on there, right? And all you need, three-eighths uh, extension, half-inch socket, and then you can get the nut should be real easy to get in there. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. That's six or seven tries and ta-da! Anyway, it is pretty easy if you use the magnet. Even that crappy magnet, but the camera was in the way of the, you got that little tiny little sliver to work through and. Anyway, success. So now I just tighten everything up, put all the carburetor and everything back on it. Um, run it, get it hot, run my valves again, because number six hung up on it this time. And, um, yeah. Let's see if, uh, well, I think number six is starting to open, so yeah, that's not a problem. Okay. All right, I guess that's it. Um, Another little tragedy update around here. Uh, last night, I came in from working, and uh, I just sat down in my chair, and I heard this sh humongous crash. It sounded like somebody drove through my gate. Like, holy cow, I jumped out of my chair. I run over, look over the gate, and then there's nobody around. And it sounded like something tin, you know, something that hit tin. And my next thought, immediate thought was, oh, garage door spring broke. Shown up. Heck of a noise. Anyway, I got to spare her. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But uh, yeah, you can't buy garage springs in California. They're too dangerous. You might kill yourself. So we, you're going to have to call a professional, nine hundred dollars, and he'll come put a new spring in for you. No, I don't want to do that. I want to buy my forty-five dollars spring and put it in myself. Why? Because I like to live dangerous. Yeah, so if you want to order, if you're in California, you break a garage door spring, you want to do it yourself, you got to order from out of state. Go to Home Depot. Oh, I'm sorry, we can't even order them to the store. They're just too deadly. It's deadly. It's deadly. It's like, what's the world coming to? Everybody's just scared of everything. It's like, oh, I don't want to get hurt. Oh, no, you'll hurt yourself. But it's okay to, I'm not even going to go there. All right, that's that. Poochman out. Um, say bye, Maxi. Sweet pie boy. Sweet pie boy. That's your good boy. That's your good boy. He's Maxi boy. Everybody likes Maxi boy. Everybody likes Maxi boy. Maxi. Me boy. All right. Put it back.